Okay, guys, we talked about budgeting. We need to talk about budgeting, actually, because a lot of people come with that question. First of all, they say, vegan challenge is too expensive. I cannot do it. So this video is my top 10 things that I would have in my house if I couldn't buy anything else. If I had $20 to $25 to go in the grocery store and buy everything vegan and I couldn't buy anything else, these are the 10 things that I would buy. So thing number one, and it's in no particular order, would be rice. If you have ever fallen on hard times or you're just from the Caribbean, you know that rice is like a staple in your house. You you, you just gotta have rice. That's that's what you need to have, period. So you can get things popping. You can make Spanish rice, you can make fried rice, you can eat rice and beans, you can do whatever you want, and rice is gonna last you a long way. It's a dry ingredient, it's non-perishable, so you definitely wanna go with rice. The second ingredient on the list, I would say, is beans. Just with this simple pack of black beans, you can make black bean burgers, you can make fritters, you can eat the rice with the beans, you can make brownies out of this, which I'm going to show you guys how to do. You just boil them and add a little cacao powder, bake them in the oven, and you got brownies. So you definitely want to get yourself some beans. There are lots of fiber, you got your protein. It's a good look, okay? The next thing I would say you should have is some oatmeal. Now, I'm definitely a fan of flavored oatmeal like maple and brown sugar, apple and cinnamon, but we only got a little bit of money today. So you want to get you some plain oatmeal and sweeten it with whatever you got in your house. You can use agave, you can use um, dates, you can use coconut sugar, you can use palm syrup. There's a million and one things you can sweeten this with. Add a little cinnamon, a little vegan butter, some water, some non-dairy milk if you have it, and it's gonna be better than any packaged oatmeal you ever bought. Also, you can use this as flour for your black bean burgers. You can make all sorts of yummy treats with just a few ingredients if you have oatmeal in your house. And you can add it to your smoothie to make your smoothie thicker and have more calories. Okay, so the next ingredient, Chips and salsa. It's technically two ingredients, but it's my it's, it's my video, so I say it's one. Chips and salsa go back like four flats on a Cadillac. If you are a snacker like me and you feel like in the middle of the day you're not going to make it or you just don't have time to cook, chips and salsa, very vegan, will take you a very long way, okay? The next item I would say that you certainly need to have in your house is some type of frozen vegetable, okay? You can get this one from Aldi. It was really cheap. I think it was like 85 cents or 99 cents, something like that. You definitely want to get frozen vegetables because they're excellent. They last. You can put them on the side of your rice and beans or your black bean burger and you're going to be good to go. The next ingredient I would say is going to last you a long time is some type of potato. These are sweet potatoes. Again, potatoes are for the most part non-perishable. They do go bad, but it takes like a hell of a long time for potatoes to go bad. And right here, you can make sweet potato pie. You can make uh, sweet potato souffle. You can just plain roast the sweet potatoes. You can have mashed sweet potatoes. And you can do pretty much the same thing with whatever your favorite potato is. Blue potato, Yukon yellow, fingerlings, whatever. But I think potatoes are really good to have. You can make um, potato pancakes, whatever. They're mainly non-perishable and they're going to fill you up, right? So something else that I think is really important to have is some type of green lettuce in your house because I think you should eat a salad with pretty much lunch or dinner. The more greens you can get in, the better you can get in. And these are only gonna cost you about $2. I got this for $2 at Aldi's, probably $2 on sale at Publix. It's just good to have a salad and it's one of my go-to things I try to always have inside my house, okay? The next thing that I think is super important are some type of nuts. So these are walnuts. I like walnuts. You can have any type of nuts you want in your house, but I like walnuts because they're great for snacking. Uh, if you have my cookbook, I use the walnuts to make the ground beef with the mushrooms or the creamy mushroom pasta. The sauce is made from walnuts. So you can soak these overnight, blend these, make these into a wonderful creamy sauce, or you can do burgers, or you can do meatballs, or you can just simply eat them straight out of the pack. You can use them as a topping for salad. Walnuts are great, but you can choose any type of nut that you want and have that in your home. I think it's great. Also, produce, some type of fruit like this, like a blueberry, strawberry, raspberry. These are great because you can put them on top of your oatmeal. You can make a smoothie with them. And also, instead of buying frozen fruit like a lot of people do, 
You can just put this in a Ziploc bag. Like, wash this off, put it in a Ziploc bag, put it in the freezer yourself, and then they're going to be good for however long you need them to be good for. That's that's what I do, honestly. I do that with blueberries. I do that with strawberries. So whatever your favorite fruit is, you can keep that on hand. So the last, one of the last things, second to last thing, is seltzer water. And I have this in the house because we're supposed to be drinking a lot of water. We cannot have soda which you can't technically have soda because it's vegan, but it's not healthy. So you can't technically have soda, but this is like flavored seltzer water and it doesn't have any calories. It doesn't have any sodium. It doesn't have any sugar. It doesn't have any carbohydrates and it makes you feel like you're drinking something other than water and you can't get in trouble for it, right? And also if you have like some type of gas or stomach issues, it will help settle your stomach. The last thing which might be weird for some people, but I'm going to say it anyway because I'm an islander. It's coconut milk. I'm, coconut milk is like my thing in my house that I always make sure it never runs out. Like I'll literally go crazy if coconut milk runs out. Coconut milk is great because, again, you can use it to thicken your oatmeal. You can make a bean sauce with your coconut milk. They are great for smoothies with your fruit. You could do anything. You can add it to your rice, which a lot of island folks do. That's great. You can make delicious um, Asian sauces with it. It's just coconut milk is super versatile. Uh, you can drink it straight up, add it to things, make it sweeter, make it creamier. You can do a lot of stuff with coconut milk. And so that is my list of top 10 things that if I had a minimal budget, 20 to $25, and I had to go in the grocery store and buy all vegan stuff, those are all of the things that I would buy.